they turned the electricity back on at Citizens Bank Park on Thursday. On opening day, 2019, the place rocked like it did in 2008. R 2009, or 2010. Or 2011. Take your pick. It felt weird, said Michael Franco, survivor of five straight losing seasons with the Phillies. Everything was loud, it was a huge difference. I've been here five years and I've never seen people go crazy like that. It was a beautiful thing. Indeed, it was. Time, and the next 161 games, will ultimately tell, but the Phillies looked like a rebuilt team capable of contending in their rousing 10-4 win over the Atlanta Braves in front of a sellout crowd of 44,469. See observations, Aaron Nola showed no panic on a day when his control was unusually spotty and he was supported by three home runs that accounted for eight runs. Who knows if it will have staying power, but the Phils believe they made a little statement against the reigning NL East champs. It's really important for us, said Franco, who clubbed a three-run homer in the sixth. Everyone we're facing, they have to know and they have to understand that we have a pretty good team. Adubal Herrera seconded that. We wanted to show them that we're here to be on top of the division, he said. I feel that we did a pretty good job today and we're going to play really hard every game. And with today's game, hopefully they got a little intimidated. You know, we want to scare teams. It's fun. The Phillies lineup does have the potential to be scary. Consider, Franco led the team in hitting last year, .270, was second in ops, .780, and third in homers, 22, and is now hitting eighth because the Phillies added four all-star bats, Andrew McCutcheon, Gene Segura, Bryce Harper, and JT. Real Muto, to the top of the lineup. Herrera and Cesar Hernandez preceded Franco in the lineup Thursday. That threesome combined to drive in five runs. It's just devastating for an opposing team, Real Muto said. I know as a catcher that when you have six, seven, eight like those three, that's tough. Those are middle of the lineup guys and they're hitting in the bottom of the order. It gets on you as an opposing staff. There's really no hole in the lineup. They can't just walk us or pitch around us to get to those guys because those guys hit just as well. It's good to have a lineup like that. Speaking of pitching around guys, the Braves walked Harper with two men on base and first base open in the seventh. Hoskins made the Braves pay with a booming grand slam that brought the house down. See story, Hoskins' big blow stood like a bookend with McCutcheon's leadoff solo homer in the first. It was a pretty big shot in the arm, manager Gabe Kapler said of McCutcheon's homer. It created a lot of confidence in the dugout. Much of the focus of this offseason was placed, justifiably, on the players the Phillies acquired, like McCutcheon. But on day one of the season, Franco, Herrera, Hernandez, Nola and Hoskins, all members of the old guard, stood out. It was particularly sweet for Franco. Imagine this, if the Phillies had been successful in signing Manny Machado around the holidays, Franco would not have been here Thursday nor would have Harper. There was no way the Phillies were signing two $300 million men. So it all worked out pretty nicely for everyone on day one of this new era of Phillies baseball. I know, it's crazy. Franco said, referring to his uncertain winter. Important thing right now is, I'm here and I'm going to do everything I can to help my team win. I'm so happy. It's going to be fun this year. Click here to download the My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Flyers, Sixers and Phillies games easily on your device. More on the Phillies How ironic it was to look up and down the Phillies opening day lineup and see filled out box score lines, except for the three spot. The Phillies dropped 10 runs on the Braves Thursday at Citizens Bank Park and Bryce Harper wasn't responsible for much of it. He went 0 for 3 with a walk, a run scored and two strikeouts in his Phillies debut. He added an outfield assist, throwing out Nick Markakis at second base. Yet despite his quiet day, Harper did make his presence felt in the Phillies' deep potent batting order. 
In the fourth inning with Gene Segura on third base and nobody out, Braves pitcher Julio Tehran struck out Harper and Reese Hoskins before later encountering trouble and surrendering two runs. Tehran needed 18 pitches in that spot to get through Harper, Hoskins and JT. Real Muto, walk, which set the table for Adubal Herrera and Cesar Hernandez to deliver first pitch RBI singles. It gave the Phillies a lead they wouldn't relinquish in a 10-4 win, see observations. The seventh was the inning Phillies fans will remember for a long time. With runners on second and third and nobody out, Braves manager Brian Snicker immediately called for an intentional walk of Harper. Reed Hoskins followed with an absolute blast to left field, a no-doubt grand slam that sent a delirious South Philly crowd into a frenzy. It's far from the last time Harper will be intentionally walked, and in Hoskins' very first chance to make the opponent pay for picking that brand of poison, he delivered, I was just fired up for him. Harper said of his teammate and buddy, We talked about it all spring long, if I walk the guy behind me doing damage like he did. That's what it's all about, getting on base, making the other team pay for walking me or whatever. Throw him a down and in, Peter and he absolutely parked it to left. I find joy in what my teammates do and being able to see his success, what he did today in that spot. Anthony, Rendon did it a lot last year, seeing Reese do it this year, awesome. The depth of the Phillies lineup is striking and it was apparent in Game 1 of 162. The old guard certainly produced, with Hoskins, Michael Franco, Herrera and Hernandez driving in nine runs, but the new guys showed off their skill sets as well. Andrew McCutcheon's combo of power and plate selection was apparent as he led the game off with a home run and walked to start the seventh inning rally. Segur showed off his speed with two ground balls that forced quick, errant throws to first base. Both times, Segura got to second base on the throw. Both times, he came around to score. Harper forced stress on Tehran in the fourth and forced the Braves' hand in the seventh, which set things up for Hoskins' heroics. Real Muto didn't do much at the plate but displayed his MLB leading pop time by throwing Freddie Freeman, who had a good jump, out trying to steal second. There's just not a deep breath, there's not a breath of fresh air for the opposing pitcher, Hoskins said. They decided to walk Bryce tonight. Sometimes they'll walk him and they'll walk me and then you have to face JT. You walk Kutch, you have to face Segura. You walk Adubal, you have to face Cesar and then Franco. I think we saw it the whole game from everybody in the lineup. Everybody had great at-bats and it's pretty contagious. It was fun and I can't wait for Saturday, the Phillies scored 11 runs combined in their last four opening days. But that was when guys like Franco, Hernandez and Herrera were being relied on as the offensive centerpieces. Now, they're the 6, 7, 8 of what could be the best lineup in the National League, it's scary good, Hoskins said. Click here to download the MyTeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Flyers, Sixers and Phillies games easily on your device. More on the Phillies box score The new and improved Phillies began the Bryce Harper era with three big home runs and a 10-4 opening day victory over the Atlanta Braves on Thursday. The sellout crowd of 44,469 was electric and it had a lot to cheer about, starting with a leadoff home run by newcomer Andrew McCutcheon in the first inning and ending with a grand slam by Reese Hoskins in the seventh. In between, Michael Franco belted a three-run homer and a double Herrera and Cesar Hernandez had two out RBI hits in the fourth. Harper went hitless in his first game with the Phils, but was on base for Hoskins' grand slam after drawing an intentional walk. Key moments 8 of the Phillies' 10 runs came on long balls. McCutcheon homered on his first swing as a Philly, the team's first swing of the season. Sometimes what the first batter does is an indication of how the season will go. That'll do. Pick.twitter.com slash XRLGMQSNOG, NBC Sports Philadelphia, at NBC Spilly, March 28, 2019 Franco, betting in the know.
It's fought after leading the team in hitting last year, capped a strong at bat with his three-run homer in the bottom of the sixth. HTTPS colon slash slash twitter.com slash NBC Spilly slash status slash 11113771240094720000 Hoskins put things out of reach with his first career grand slam in the bottom of the seventh. With a runner in scoring position and the game tied, 1-1, in the bottom of the fourth, no. Five hitter JT, Real Muto drew a two out walk and Herrera and Hernandez hit consecutive pitches for RBI singles to give the Phils a 3 to 1 lead. Nola put up a dramatic shutdown inning as he struck out the side in the top of the fifth. Nola's season debut he battled spotty, commanding a career high five walks, but limited damage and held the Braves to two hits and a run over six innings. Nola threw 99 pitches, it's a new year, and struck out 8. He's 8-3 eight in 13 career starts against the Braves. Bullpen usage before the game, manager Gabe Kapler would not tip his hand on how he would work the late innings. He ended up using Hector Neris in the 7th and David Robertson in the 8th so maybe Sir Anthony Dominguez will get the first shot to close, though Kapler remains reluctant to assign roles in his pen. Sights and sounds Harper debuted to huge ovations and fans chanting his name. It's a thunderous ovation for Bryce Harper before his first at bat in Philadelphia. Pick.twitter.com slash 8 ag 306 circ NBC Sports Philadelphia at NBC Spilly, March 28, 2019 He threw a ball into the upper deck during warm-ups and appeared to have raided the Fanatics' shoe closest by wearing bright, lime green spikes, see story. The roar of the sellout crowd for McCutcheon's leadoff homer was right out of 2008. Or 2009, or 2010, or 2011. So was the roar when Hoskins clubbed his Grand Slam moments after the crowd loudly booed the intentional walk to Harper. Pre-game notes outfielder Roman Quinn, on the injured list, is playing in minor league games in Florida. He could be ready in the next two weeks. Reliever Tommy Hunter will need a good ramp-up, according to Kapler. He could be ready later in April. Kapler reiterated what he said early in spring training, third baseman Franco will need to produce to hold off Scott Kingery. Ditto for center fielder Herrera who has Aaron Alvear and eventually Quinn behind him. So far, so good for Franco and Herrera. Up next the two teams are off Friday. The series resumes Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. Nick Pavetta starts for the Phillies against Atlanta's Bryce Wilson. Click here to download the My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Flyers, Sixers and Phillies games easily on your device. More on the Phillies.